Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. will be super helpful video to any of you having a car guys with traction control, ABS systems. Uh, you will guys have a device on the steering wheel or the steering column that's known as a steering angle sensor that detects how much you turn the steering wheel. We'll explain how you can test it and number one reason why it may not be working. You may not need to replace it. Make sure you stand till the end. We'll explain what we're talking about. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can, guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. If you guys need to buy a new steering angle sensor, the tools that we'll be using, parts, anything, and you want to save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money so with that being said let's explain what we have here specifically this is a fort that we'll be demonstrating on but multiple vehicles will use that design so if we come right here okay <laughs> this is actually the plug-in hybrid so i have it on where it's uh, using only electricity to warm us up which is awesome because it's pretty cool in the shop today you need to find guys your obd port that's where you connect the scanner ours is under that cover often it will be under the dash somewhere so look for it it looks like a uh, diagnostic port like this one uh, the tool that we'll be using is a thing to you guys this is amazing i'll put the link in the description of the video below exactly which one it is but this tool is a life-saving device it's almost like a dealer level equipment in your pocket you can even do programming access every computer system in your car and these modern cars probably have up to uh, some of them have up to 50 computers that for itself probably has close to 40 you will see that in a second we'll plug it in we'll go ahead select okay uh the ignition switch to be on this is the app right here we have the maintenance functions uh, the number one reason for steering angle sensor fault guys it could be the fact that it's not calibrated so with the special function you can do the reset steering angle sensor for a, your vehicle it's really easy to use guys uh, we have a video how to do that but you go to all system di diagnostics we clean click vin number it's going to decode the vin number it will tell us that we have a 2013 ford c max once it tells us that uh, we will follow the instructions on the screen perfect 2014 max 2013 we're going to select now okay check it out okay and we're going to go ahead okay and wait for it to communicate with all the computing modules inside you can see all the things you can do it's amazing guys system scan will scan everything module programming special functions uh, system selection right here guys we're going to select to anti-locking anti-lock braking system or traction control anything like that it could be under the engine computer or psm sometimes go to read data stream and you need to look for a steering angle sensor or something close to that the names may differ for different makes and models but check this thing out now steering angle sensor degree right there guys okay we click that okay now let me see okay we can open the graph or we can open guys okay uh, you can see now first we're going to start by that facing forward with the steering angle sensor calibrated you should read around zero degrees if we turn to the left 90 degrees okay let's turn about quarter revolution let me start the car by the way it will make things really easy okay perfect okay about 90 degrees you can see let's do 180 degrees half a revolution if it shows guys about 180 you're great okay half a revolution it's about 180 now let's go back okay it should show zero now if you go to the right about 90 degrees you will show negative 90 to the right side okay that's about right there now we go uh, okay 180 now let's go a whole revolution a little bit more it should say negative 360 okay a little bit more you can see now it's straight 360 so you can even open the graph and see how we moved it okay how we move it now so you can see the degrees here as well and you uh, you need to match what you have there okay with what you have here specifically right now okay we're at 90 degrees okay you can see so it's matching guys quarter revolution 90 degrees whole revolution uh, half revolution 180 
This is 270, 360, a little bit of matte glass. If it matches with the readings on the top, on the on the app, you're ready to go. Uh, it's not a bad sensor. Now, sometimes sensors may be uh, uh, not working when you hit a pothole or something, if, it, if they have something loose. So you can activate it like that. You can record the uh, stream actually, guys. You can click uh, record and you can leave it while you're driving. It's going to record everything. And later, if uh, the light turns on for uh, uh, having malfunction in the steering angle sensor, you can stop the vehicle, get to a safe place, check the recording and see when it occurred and find out if it's good or bad. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.